Robots are amazing. They can help us with so many day-to-day -day activities and help us in fixing some small or big issues. But have you ever heard of female robots who talk, walk, and can fully perform all on their own without anyone's help? Well, if you want to learn more about it, you've come to the right place. In today's video, we'll be talking about these crazy female robots developed in Japan. But before that, of course, we'd like to ask you guys to absolutely destroy that like and subscribe button, share this video, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so that you can be the first one to know when we upload more awesome videos like this one. Alright guys, let's dive into it. So we've all heard of those crazy robots with high AI and stuff, like the Sophia robot in 2016 and 2017. That thing was creepy. I mean, this social humanoid robot really does send chills down your spine, especially considering how she said things around the topic of how robots are going to take over the world. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. But hey, this video ain't about her. It's about these crazy, fully performing female robots created in Japan. I mean, Japan is producing and creating more robots than ever, making about 200,000 robots per year. Now these robots aren't just there for communication or companion purposes. For example, Japan has made countless robots like these that are made to perform jobs that humans are supposed to do, but with much more accuracy and speed. People are already predicting that these robots will sooner or later take over the entire industry of jobs while others predict that they'll only be helping humans instead of fully taking their jobs. But just by seeing these, it's very obvious that the world will be going into a full robot-powered environment. Not to mention, Japan has also made many, many cool and cute robots like Pepper, who will help with dementia by many methods depending on the intensity of the dementia of the certain resident living in new technology, the aging population in Tokyo's Silver Wing nursing home. Here you can see that Pepper is hosting a game of Guess the Kanji, as the big screen shows super magnified parts of Chinese characters that the crowd has to identify aloud. We ask residents with dementia where they are and who they are in natural conversation with communication robots and human staff, says Kimiya Ishikawa, director of Silver Wing. It's hard for humans compared to robots to remember each resident's personal information, so robots are utilized to help in that area. Though it's not just the common area where these robots are being used. When helping elderly customers get in and out of bed upstairs, staff members can employ robotic exoskeletons that strap around their waists and lower backs to relieve the intense physical strain on their bodies. Japan is facing major demographic challenges due to the elderly wave, low fertility rates, and a shrinking population. This leads to a number of issues facing Japanese society, which the West can learn from says Roger A. Sora, a robotics researcher at the Center for Technology and Society in Norway. Elderly care facilities and hospitals see a severe lack of healthcare workers. There are not enough humans to do the tasks the way they used to be done. But now, Japan has introduced a female robot that defies the traditional form and design of your average robot and even has a uterus installed so that it may simulate childbirth. This female machine is capable of simulating the entire labor and delivery process thanks to the support of both large and small parts and numerous sensors found in the human body. This Japanese female robot was primarily created for male users. Its skin very much resembles that of real people. It uses the most cutting-edge silica gel technology and has a continuous temperature system that matches the body temperature of an average person. The robot with the function of being a wife is a standard beauty with fair skin and a concave convex figure. However, from a practical point of view, it also serves the purposes of easy housework and communication. The role that having children plays in this situation, though, is what we find most intriguing. Infertility is, after all, a medical issue that affects people. But the question is, wouldn't robots have a harder time doing this? In reality, while having a uterus that can give birth to children, this robot wife is unable to become pregnant. It can only replicate the human reproductive process at the moment. Maybe we'll eventually get to see a robot child when bioscience and artificial intelligence technology reach a particular point of development. Though, say what you want, I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad one. Looking ahead, Silver Wang's Ishikawa claims, 
that significant research is being done to create social robots that can recognize and foretell changes in a person's healthcare. For instance, the robots that currently record conversations to assist human caregivers in trafficking the progress of a dementia patient may soon also monitor vital signs and using AI, compare that data to a database of symptoms, extract correlations, and determine the likelihood that a condition of a person will either worsen or improve in time. Hiroshi Ishiguro, the Osaka University roboticist, says, We'll see other cute, communicative robots in places like hotel rooms or restaurants, where touchscreen menus are already commonplace in Japan, to assist guests in other languages. After a 250 million yen, $2.3 million investment from the Education Ministry, robots started to be introduced in 500 classrooms throughout Japan last year to assist with the teaching of English to small children. That could, in turn, help Japan's younger generation grow up at ease with robots in a variety of environments. Another not-so-cute but cool and practical robot made in Japan is this crazy ramen making robot with a 100% guarantee of making the perfect ramen for you. These robots can be found everywhere in Japan, ranging from your local ramen noodle shop to various big-time airports. And if you think the unveiling of a new food robot might slip under the radar in this ramen-obsessed country, you'd be wrong. At a press conference held by Yokai to unveil their latest ramen-making robot and discuss their entry into Japan, more than 70 members of these Japanese media showed up. And the result was at least a dozen articles and news reports about the whole press conference. In a few years, it wouldn't be surprising to see yokai machines sprinkled around Tokyo and other Japanese cities to serve up hot bowls to those too busy to sit down in a local slurp shop. While some ramen shop operators might be upset by the entry of a ramen-making robot, others see it as an exciting new opportunity, including the founder of the most popular ramen joint in Japan, Ibudo. A vending machine cooks hot ramen on the spot, said Shigami Kawahara, president of the founder of Ibudo. I mean, it's cool to think about it, isn't it? It's not just these small robots, though. Japan and the whole world are creating many, many new and intricately designed robots for the comfort of our own lives. Just like the female robots being invented in Japan, more and more crazy and cool robots will be built for our use. From robots developed to help deliver items from a supermarket to your homes, or robots invented to pick up garbage outside your house, to highly developed artificial intelligence like Sophia and the female robots. It's beautiful to see all these new innovators creating these robots. As Kazu Ishiguro, an English novelist, screenwriter, musician, and short story writer who was born in Japan believes that they'll integrate into our lives the same way smartphones did a decade ago. Not just Japan will have more robots, but the whole world will, he predicts. Well, what do y'all think? It seems that the world will be moving on into a more sophisticated and artificial intelligence supported environment. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let us know your opinions in the comment section below and tell us about the cool robots being invented in your country too, and whether or not you like Japan's whole female robot waifu thingy. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any further videos, and make sure you share this video too. Well, with that folks, have a good one!